This video covers key strategies and knowledge that will make working in R much easier in the near and long term. Let's start by opening R. If we want, we can type directly into the console. However, this makes it a bit difficult to recreate our work, so it's helpful to open a new R document, also called an R script. We can open a script by holding down Command and hitting N. Whenever you write R commands, you should write them in an R script. Then you can send the commands in your script to an R console to be run. For example, if your cursor is on a line in the R script, you can run that line of code in the console by holding down Command and hitting Return. To run a larger block of code, highlight the code, hold down Command, and hit Return. It is useful to type your commands into an R script because you can organize your commands and you can run and rerun these commands quickly and easily. You can also save an R script so you can use it later, and this makes it easy to pick up where you left off in your next work session. Here, I'll save my script to the desktop with the name temp.r. Saving and loading files in R can be very helpful. R is always looking in a particular folder on your computer, and it is sometimes important to know where it is looking so you can access and save files. There are two tools that will make this easier, getwd and setwd which stand for get working directory and set working directory. The getwd function will tell you which directory R is currently working from. If you'd like to change the directory you're working in, use the setwd function and specify a file path inside the parentheses where the path is contained in quotation marks. For those working in OSX, there's one more tool, command d. Typing command D will open a window where you can navigate to a folder of your choosing. When you are done in an R session, save your script and then type Q open parenthesis close parenthesis into the console. As long as you carefully document your work in an R script, there's little reason to save your workspace. In the next video, we'll begin creating objects in R.